to left them yard and risk it for, for come out and come stand up in our party them come to stand up in our party to enjoy themselves to be entertained that is the most important thing nobody don't business but who don't like you or who you do not like unless you can coin that in a, in a way that is entertaining and unless you can put that into a part of your set i am going to tell you this is a message to every selector out there every single one of uno out there you see your talent and that if you focus man the talent you have that if you focus man don't focus man who don't like you because at the end of the day, people just not going to like you. My mama put it on everything, you know. Them not going to like me. And this is a fact. People always question me and say, Triple X, how oh, oh, you for say them not going to like you? Why you keep on saying that? How can somebody not like you? You, how can somebody not like you being the person that you are, be having the personality that you have? How is it possible for somebody not to like you? And I'm going to tell you this. You say when you are good, somebody. You say when you are clean. You say in time you focus on yourself. You're saying time you don't allow people for sex and get in your head space. When you're sex and you're a jovial person, that is when people hate you. Climb man of a climb show, you never go press a button. That is when people hate you. When you're not a mean spirited person, that is when people hate you. You will the people that will have the most haters are the nicest people. I have to tell you that. The people that will have the most people that do not like them are always the people who are good people. Me I tell you that. Me I tell you that and that are facts. You see, when he's a junker, and you treat people like shit, and you go on like you're better than people, that's when people run into you and try to friend you. I mean, I tell you, I'm prove this all the time. It's called, what do you call it? The mean girl phenomenon. The mean girl phenomenon. You understand? That's what it's called. The mean girl phenomenon. You see, when a girl treat every girl like shit, every girl always run to she and have she as the boss bitch or the queen bee. Or the head bitch in charge. I saw them something you always go. You see when you say with the girl we're always nice and treat everybody good and try to interest everybody alright. Everybody always pick on she and treat she like such nonsense. She likes she like she an idiot. And that are those facts, are those so life still like us forgot them with it. You understand me? I say? So I have no problem with people not liking me. None whatsoever. Because at the end of the day, when I when I get paid. I get paid to entertain. When me left me out, me left me out for entertain. Whether you pay me the most money, I pay me the least money, I give you the same amount of energy. If I'm in front of 10 people or I'm, or I'm in front of a stadium full of people, it is the same energy I get. Because what it is that you pay for is for my talent and for me to exhibit or to exude the talent that you pay, pay me for. If you book me for an event and a selector or an entertainer or an artist or whoever it is, It. Whether it be by league, by guys right now, party in illegal. So, me is basically a criminal now. You understand? Because me I do this thing by a means that will be considered by many illegal. You understand? So, me left my yard, figure do the illegal or the illicit activities. Well, what them say? What I wrote the name again? What I wrote the name again? Allegedly. Allegedly. Zane, when me left my yard, because set and go entertain and do what I need to do before curfew hours start practicing the most what you call it now the most earnest social distancing protocol and, and sorting out the, all the COVID restrictions <laughs> when we go out we go deal with it we go out there go, go, go entertain that is what we go out there for you understand? Nobody can say them ever come with some with me. I'm never set and give me a full hundred. If my sister don't give me a full hundred, my brother do not work. My brother do not take the people and money. But once you book me, I'm going to come to your event. 
I come in to do that. I don't business who don't like me. I don't business who don't respect me. I don't business who don't rate me. The promoter pay me for come entertain the crowd. I will entertain you even if you eat me like pies. And at the end of the day, you are going to say, me don't like the boy when him triple X and about him bad no blow out. You understand what I say? You have to say that. Because you come to come put in the work. And I tell people this all the time. Whatever you hear me say on the microphone, it is for entertainment purposes only. You understand me, I say? I am not a bad man, but I do play bad man song. I am not a gallus, but I do play the gallus song them. I am not a flasser, but I do play the flossing song them. I am not a scammer, but I do play the scamming song them. Because I entertain the uh, I am not a freak, but I do play the freaky song them. So, when I said that I play the music for the people to enjoy, I play to entertain. As an entertainer, you're supposed to be able to bring people on the cuspice or bring people to the brink of all of their emotions. To get somebody fully entertained, you have to take them on an emotional roller coaster. It is not only about being happy, it's about evoking feelings and emotions that they did not know that was there. That is your job as an entertainer, not to go out there and self promote or to self propagate and to tell lies on yourself about your financial status that we and the whole entire world know that is not true. Because if you are rich or you are wealthy, you would not take up yourself out of your bed at night time and come out and run from police or to hide or to do something illicit or illegal. You would stay in your comfortable bed and drink your cognac in your Versace or your Gucci robe in under your air condition Chanel on your sheet. California king size bed on your Chanel sheets. You understand me I say? Alongside your woman who is fully, fully pampered. So anybody that you see going out at night time figure hustle, whether they're an artist or they're an entertainer or they're a selector or anybody, them is broke. Them is poor. That is why the government do not want us to go out because it's poor people going out at night time and the government does not business about poor people. So if I am a poor man and I go out there to look my honest bread, you should not be upset about me looking my honest bread. You understand? The problem is this. A lot of people are so selfish because they are making an income during this whole corona thing and they are making a much larger income now in corona than they were making from before. You understand? They were they, now in a corona, now them finally start to see some real money since corona start. So them now want corona for done. So them now want them no business about nobody else. You understand? Put the phone for yourself. Know? Them no business about nobody else. Them only business about themselves. When you hear me come and me set some, I come beat the government and talk the things them. About what negative what the government do. And I talk about the foolishness of the government I go. I don't have to do that. Because at the end of the day, throughout Corona, me not hungry throughout Corona. Me still out there put in the work and I do what I have to do, irrespective of whatever them say to do. Me still have to go out there go look my own. And me, alright, because my bills them paid. And food in my fridge, food up on my table, and my pit in the hungry. You understand? That is fact. You understand me, I say? And I go out there and I look it. I don't have to come here and talk about it. We set them my money and I pick the for girls school. I pick the school fee fully, fully. I go paid. I pick the have him uniform them for buy all of them something they go there. But I cannot sit down and just shut my mouth and say, oh, me alright, my picnic alright. Let me just shut my mouth and just go on through. I cannot do that. I have to think about the persons who do not have it. I have to think about the persons who have not made any money. I have to and these people I see them every night. Every day I see the people who I know are suffering and I can't shut my mouth because me alright and don't speak out for the people them who are suffer. That would be very selfish and arduous for me. A lot of people in my day, man, say, Triple X, shut up your mouth, you chat too much. You're all right, you're going like you're broke, you're going like you're hungry. Whether or not me hungry, whether or not me broke, at the end of the day, I am a Jamaican, and if Jamaicans are feeling hunger, I have to speak out for my fellow Jamaicans. Me could have do like enough of the selector them and go for and go spend six months, you know. Me could have do like them, go for and go spend time. Me could have do like enough of them, go for and go look somebody and sat on the papers and sit on a foreign and comfortable and all right and I make money. Every time I go to America, and if I go set some bus a little hustle, I make, I make more than a thousand US dollars for the night when I do over there. Every night when I set some woman, I go hustle, I get a, I, well, I not, well, let us not incriminate ourselves. When I set some go to America, I, 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 make, I get lucrative amounts of contributions to my cause. I get very sustained because so it's not like say if me did they are foreign more hungry. If me did they are foreign right and I would have make much more money than women I make a Jamaica by far. 
JR, sit back and keep your seatbelt on, please, and thank you very much. Oh, you want to sleep? All right, give Auntie it and lie down. All right? Zin? I could have the foreign to sit down and over there, but at the end of the day, I have a responsibility. I have a responsibility to my country and to my culture. That is why I'm here. Me still make a sustainable income. It might not be as lush or as plush as I want it to be. It might not be as good as it was before Corona. But me still, I make enough to keep food from the table. Me have to cut my life, my lifestyle down. The, 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 the expenditure down low, low, low. My daily expenses cut down well, well low. But at the end of the day, me still I live and me still can see a way out. But there are people who can who are not living properly. There are a lot of people who are on the brink of starvation. There are some people who passed the borderline and gone over starvation. Good, good, good. So when me see them people over there, so me can't shut my mouth and say, hey, me alright, me no business about them people. Me hear some selector say, yo, me no bit me hear, me hear selector say on the microphone. Me hear selector say on the microphone. In front of a pack audience. A pack, pack audience. I go say to people, say, oh. Corona the best thing we ever happened. I'm glad for Corona because oh, Corona make me rich. Corona make me have money and them things. Corona make me see some life I'm never. I'm glad for it. I don't mind Corona keep four more times. And then the same people them we are suffer. Jump up and put them under the ear and I wave it and I say, yes, yes, Corona good, Corona this and Corona that. The same exact people them. I wave to this man and I say, boy, yo, that man is rich for two and ray, 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 ray. And these are the same people who are suffering. These are the same people who are suffering, who are cheering for somebody who is celebrating your downfall or the ailment or the thing that caused or the social issue that caused for you to be suffering or impoverished. This no make no sense. It no make no sense. We have a social responsibility just as much as how we look at Andrew Owens and we look at when my boy demand for in Ministry of Health. Tough than. See, I like how look one tough than and Andrew only so them man they have, a, have a responsibility to take care of the well being of the country. We as entertainers have a responsibility to take care of the mental well being and also the physical well being of our country. Me, I play my part. No, people cause I'm such a place where they are road, at road and I broke protocol. And me, no, me, I have to play my part too. Socialization is a, is, a, is a very viable and vital part of mental illness and the country the governance of the country is not focusing on mental health so when i can give people an escape and a release and entertain them for them to can forget the problems them with them having in them day-to-day -day life even if it is only for 30 minutes at a time i am being behind plant i am creating a i'm creating a pressure release valve for these people so that is what you are doing as an entertainer for you're not an entertainer to go out there and show off and act like you're better than people that is not what you are because at the end of the day without the patrons without the fans without the persons who come and support you you don't have a career so the onus is not on you to go out there and to show off and go on like you're better than them the onus is for you to go out there and to give to give them what they are paying for and at the end of the day, the customer is always right. And if the customer pays for entertainment, your job is to ensure that you entertain. That is what it is for. Not for you to worry about who don't like you, or who grudge you, or who bad mind you, or who is talking negative about you. You don't give a shit about that. Nobody gives a shit about that. Imagine you go to a doctor for a doctor to, 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 to provide care to you. And the doctor will say, oh... You know, so I don't want to get an injection. Yeah? Because the nurse the over there not like me. The nurse the over there start chat me. Imagine you go to the hospital and hear that. Imagine you got a tax office, you go pay your ticket, and the person say, Yo, I don't want to hear what. I just go sit down here so, and video myself. I don't want to work the computer today. You know? I don't want to pay your ticket. You know? Because the person the teller over, teller tree, don't tell a tree, don't like me. I'm bad mind. I don't want to tell a one. You know? And them well wine, I tell a one. And them stuck in a teller tree from when. You know? And I don't want to tell a teller one. Five. And I pass them out. I pass them out and come and tell a one. Now them bad mind. I don't want to tell a one. So you know, I don't do no more tell a work for your side. Yeah. That doesn't make no sense. That no make no sense. Nobody gives a shit about that. Nobody no gives a shit about your personal grievance or grosses. What people come for is them come to entertain. And I mean, I tell you, say, this is what I hate. I hate it when media, when mediocre people 
get all the way up in them feelings and go on like them feel like them better pay, better than everybody else because the mediocrity are work for them. That not make no sense. That not make no sense. Focus for yourself, focus for your talent, focus for entertaining the people. Everybody have them time. Everybody have for them issue. At one point in time, Ninja Man was the baddest artist in Jamaica. Ninja Man and Papa San and Lieutenant Stitcher was the baddest, baddest thing. When if if them man in the pan show, nobody now wanna see that. When being the man did just a start out and stand up on the crate, nobody never wanna see him over be over bounty over um ninja man. Nobody never did want to see bounty killer at first and birth bounty killer don't have don't have see if you got go from studio to studio on bicycle. Nobody never wanna see him. But him get theme time for shine. I remember when Vibes Cartel they on the stage and him a DJ. I have this one video where Bujo Bantan come grab the mic out of Vibes Cartel and Bujo grab the mic out of Vibes Cartel and shoot back Vibes Cartel girl on the back. And Vibes Cartel after those step to the back and wait till Bujo done. Bunty say your dad you can't do that to the young youth that him a forward and Bujo say oh allow me a star time for work now a star a work. That's what Bujo Bantan did to Vibes Cartel. And look at Vibes Cartel now irrespective of the fact that he's behind bars but he is still Arguably the number one person in dance hall, the number one name in dance hall right now. And yet still he was pushed aside and thrown asunder. But he, his time came. Everybody have them time. So when you have your time, make use of your time. Make use of your time because guess what? The hands of time doesn't stay pointed in any one direction at any point in time. It will it keep moving. It keeps moving time is not stagnant so when you get your time for shine shine as bright as you possibly can don't see the spotlight they pan you and then turn your back to the spotlight and when the spotlight move and can't come back on you you complain and then say oh are the boy we are all the spotlight bad mind no bum but you know or a obey them obey me make the spotlight not come back for me when you wasted your time when you were in the limelight focus on what you want and it's not only go for entertainment alone it's go for everybody every single body in every single profession when you get your time for shine for show show your word show your word put your best foot forward put your best foot forward and remember this what i'm telling you all the while everybody now gonna like you everybody now gonna rate you majority of people now gonna like you it no matter but you provide a service that they need then we'll pay for that service you have provide something what them need, them will partake of that thing that them need. That is just the facts. So if you want to continue and be a fool and allow people to set so and dim your light, that is up to you. That is up to you. But the more you allow them to dim your light, and the more them lead to extinguishing your light. And your light is all that you have no matter what you do. And everybody I go